Hey, what's going on, guys? Alex here with LJ. And today we're going to talk to you guys about some of the rod selection yep. and reel selection here yeah. that we use for our yeah, winter, winter, early spring. spring. Yep. Yeah, before the closure. So stuff. you got some rods over here. I do. These are, these are rods that I picked up at Anglers. Mm -hmm. So uh, the reason, let me start out here. I like bait casters. Right. So this is a G Loomis. It's the uh, medium heavy, extra fast, but it's a beefy stick. Yep, yep. We've got a it lot of backbone. Yep. Yeah, and the, the coastal reel, it's got like 20 pounds of drag. Oh, yeah, on a lot of drag, on drag. So I can put heavy stuff on there. So I'll be switching between like the suspended fish. That's why this is on mm -hmm. here, the XL right now. Sometimes we get the, the fish, they just come up and they suspend. And then I can still drop on like a Colt Sniper, current Sniper. And I'll, th I'll put on a six and a half inch uh, flutter spoon right. if I want to. I'm not it's kind of like your versatile setup, very right? Very versatile. Very versatile. So in that same vein, if you come into like, all right, I, I'm, not, I'm not using a bait case. Mm -hmm. I want to, I use spinner. Spinning. So this is the JLS 704. And uh, it's, it's a medium heavy and it's a fast tip. And it, but it's just a beefy rod. Right. On these rods, you can use, you know, your Colts or your current snipers. You can put the big flutter spoons on them, and you're good to go. It, and, and even put a plastic on here. Right, you, right. You're going to be just fine. So that's like your next option. That's going to be a very versatile rod for you. Like if you were just to have one. That's kind of like that. That's going to cover right? everything <laughs> for you. And it's a BG 4000 series and 30-pound braid. Okay, right. 30 pound. We're going um, up on sizes here this time of the year. Yes, yeah, 30 pound on my coastal too. Right, so let's talk about why we're going to the beefier rods this time of the year for some of the guys that don't know, or they're just getting into this type of fishing and they've never done it this type yeah. of time of the year. You're, you're using heavy baits mm -hmm. and you're catching big fish. Right. You're catching big fish. Um, and you just want to be able to handle that fish, get it in, release it, you know. Let it go. Let them yeah. swim off, that's what you're after. Um, now with spoons, like, uh, this is my spoon rod. It's a Talavera. I grabbed this at Anglers and you notice I tied on a tactical angle. Yep. Clip. And I can put on like, if sometimes I might put a current or Colt sniper on there or so, a nomad or mm -hmm. something like that, but I re it's really for flutter spoons. Okay. So the nice thing about this rod is it has this, butt. the longer butt handle yes. section yep. right here, oh, right yep. here. It's right here. And this allows you to, you know, you can put your thumb on the, mm -hmm. the spool and you can just lift up and then put, keep your thumb on there and just bring the tip down, give that spoon that right. slack line and it goes <laughs> down through the water column. And, you know, this, this helps so much because it's not, it's not you're sitting here like, a, you, we're not, not snap jigging. No, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice, easy presentation. Right. I mean, sometimes you can kind of pop it if you want to, but this is, this is really what you're doing. Right. And that thing has a nice taper for that style of It uh, does. Baits. It does. It's got the big eyelets on it, which I appreciate because I'm using 60-pound floral. Yep. So okay. we're going up on the leader I got size. a big leader. And the reason for that is um, a lot of times, you know, like we'll, we'll, we'll put a couple of fish in the boat, mm -hmm. and, you know, and then after everybody's got a picture or two, you know, the same size fish. Oh, do you want a picture? Ah, I'm fine. And so this heavy leader here, I can just grab the leader, pull the fish towards the boat. I'll have a pair of pliers. Of just course, release them on there. the barbs are pinched. Yep. And I just take my long nose pliers. I go, pop. And he Let just, go. he just like, sometimes he don't know he's releasing. <laughs> I have to smack his tail and he goes, <laughs> you know, so, um, but it's winter. They're slow. Right. And that's why the presentation on the lures is not a heavy action like you would do in the summer. Right. They're lethargic. They're down there conserving energy. They're not going to run real fast to chase a bait and eat it. They're going to be conserving energy, laying close to the bottom, and um, they'll be active if you get them right. active. And, and you know what? Put ProCare oh, Super yeah. Gel on these things. There might be some on here. You see oh, that? Oh, yeah, you can see that. I was going to say. <laughs> you got that old. Yeah, um, yeah. It sticks real good to those plastics. And another, a nice thing about the bunker spoons that we, we make is it has those scales in there, too. And so the old they sit on there. Really yep. good. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole purpose of so it. So one last thing with the rods here. Uh -huh. I know we always have these questions with some of the guys uh, that come by the shop. Is mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, with some of this bigger gear, um, sensitivity, right? 
Yeah. That's a big question. Do we lose sensitivity? Do we gain sensitivity or what? No. And obviously you lose a little bit of it, but explain to us with those bigger lures, you can still feel them on oh, the bottom. Oh, easy. I mean, you feel the weight of the right. lure. Uh, now, with the bunker spoons, like, there was one time I lifted up the spoon, put it back down, and this this is not uncommon. All of a sudden, you got, I have high-vis line. Mm -hmm. it, you got this, like, all this slack line it goes Lines. tight yep, and gone. it goes one direction like <laughs> holy smoke he grabbed that thing and, and then now right. you're just reeling and you got the fish and when you're using the uh you know your other metals and your or even your plastics and you're dropping down there i i don't find i lose any sensitivity with these rods right. whatsoever they're they're big lures heavyweight uh and you will feel it so don't, right. it's not the same as if I've got a you know a, a five eighths ounce you know with a two total different on. things total di mm -hmm. different dimensions. Do not be shy to it. Just have a beefy stick so you can properly handle that fish. Right. Get him in the boat and release it. And that's the one thing you can also wear yourself out. Like we were talking about this, if you're using a lighter setup and you're throwing some of these little uh, bigger. Lures, mm -hmm. you're gonna wear yourself out too. Oh, you will, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you come on with a sore elbow <laughs> right. and everything. You're like, just let the rod do the work. Is exactly. The whole point. So remember, uh, this is what you want to have for the next few months here. If you don't have for something sure. like this, you might want to get at least one or two setups like that to Absolutely. handle the fish yeah. and the lures. Yeah, these rods will last you forever. Oh yeah. You know, and, and the um, biggest thing with some of these is we can multi-use them for the summer so absolutely we're chasing this, like redfish I, this thing has brought in redfish mm -hmm. and cobia right this rod oh, and yeah. reel so they switch right over into mm -hmm. the summertime so it's a multi-purpose rod yeah it's not like you're going to be spending the money for just one little right. you know, few months yeah uh it's an investment that you can use 100 percent. this rod's going to handle a cobia or a bull <laughs> right I mean, but this one i'm not going to do it because it's a little it, bit lighter right i want to i want to be yeah this is a little bit light Yep. Sure. So that's what we have for you guys here for uh, your setups for the spring and winter. Uh, so once again, come by the store, check them out. And if you got any questions, you can always uh, ask us online or in person at the store. All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you.